Welcome to Johnny's World. Hi, welcome back to Johnny's World. Today we're going to be doing a slightly different video. I'm down here in my avocado grove and all the avocado trees are looking really great. Now, instead of adding a new avocado tree today, I'm actually going to be taking one out. Um, this is my Carmen Hass and it's the Carmen Hass I looked a very long time to get, but unfortunately I uh, made some poor choices on where to plant it, trying to squeeze every avocado tree here, that I actually took away my walking path here. And there's been a few times where I've tried to go around it, and as you can see, if I make one slight move, that's a pretty steep drop. So I'm going to be removing this Carmen Hass, and I sure hope I don't hack off the roots uh, it'd be a shame if I lost this tree uh, just because this is the only Carmen Hass I have right now uh, I was going to move this Pinkerton but I think it'd just be very difficult to move it so I think it, the easiest one is to move this Carmen Hass and the Carmen Hass is doing so well down here too this is uh pretty much where it was when I planted it probably probably like right there and look how much it grew um and it's just spreading out everywhere so it's, it's thriving down here but you know just because i didn't give myself a good walkway I, i've almost slipped a few times and i think uh i'm gonna be a little bit careful um don't want to slip and fall um <laughs> that's me kind of a big drop so i'm actually going to be taking this out and hopefully uh, it'll survive and I won't hack off too much of the roots but we'll see but um, yeah this tree is doing really well it's been here not too long ago and it's just look at just that it's just thriving just just growing and you know so yeah as this is a lesson learned You've gotta be a little bit more careful on planning on where to plant these trees because they grow really vigorously especially down my grove where it has wall draining soil the the soil down here is mostly sand so these avocado trees once i plant it it kind of shoots up look at that look at that hass that i didn't plant that just maybe about Three years ago and look how tall it is and 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 I cropped this tree tree too and it, it still found a way cropped the top off it last year and it still found a way to grow so I'm gonna probably crop the top off this too because there's no way I could get fruit up there but that's for another day but today we'll be removing this Carmen Hass and I sure hope um, I do a well enough job that survives, but we'll see. So I removed all the rocks and the, the sprinkler system down there. Now I'm going to be digging this up. So I'm going to show the results, whether I am successful in removing this with minimal damage to root ball or if I completely destroy the root ball regardless I'm going to be showing you the results good or bad and uh, yeah it's almost like this Carmen Hass is going into surgery so wish me luck I did remove it and there it is and I'm not sure how well of a job I did, but the root ball isn't totally destroyed, but it's not totally intact either. But at least this pathway is now open. I'm gonna even it out and put some railing over here so I won't fall. But it gives me a little bit of breathing room when I walk here. 
and I'm not always scared that I'm gonna take a a little trip down there. So I got I dug up this hole right between the reed and the mystery tree and uh has avocado and look at that so there's my pathway now that could uh comfortably walk through and um just take a cut right there to my other trees that's where my uh carmen house was so i, I plucked it out of the ground there so i am gonna replant it here so the root ball I mean we'll see most of it I think the core root ball is intact luckily but we'll see how it does uh, this is the only soil I have the palm cactus citrus for Kellogg it's a well draining soil it's already uh, hosed down this hole with water and it drained really fast so uh, as you can see the soil here is very sandy so it's perfect for avocado trees. So wish me luck. I hope this Carmen has survives. Uh, it has grown quite a bit, a bit uh, down here. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, the root ball, on the most part, I think it's intact. So we'll see if it drops the leaves or if it does well. So, so I am done transplanting this Carmen has. And I topped it off with this Espoma organic citrus tone for citrus and avocado food fertilizer. Now the only thing left to do is just water it and hopefully this Carmen Hass will bounce back and hopefully not lose any leaves. Because I think the central part of the root ball was intact on the most part but I definitely could have done a better job, but uh, that's just a lesson to learn. Um, you, I really should plan out uh, my avocado trees before I plant them, kind of space them out um, accordingly. And But good news is now there is ample walking space, so I could just walk through this. This is where the Carmen Hass was. So I could just walk through this and then just cut through there to the rest of my avocado grove. Well, thank you for joining me today. You know, my next video might be a visit to one of my favorite nurseries to check out their 15 gallon avocado tree. Just in case um, the Carmen Hass that I transplanted today doesn't survive, I may want to get another tree. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please press the like and subscribe. Thank you.